Hello there, folks. On YouTube, this is your boy Jaime Tude, also known as James Sullivan in real life, and I am doing this video log as part of a project that is going on at Manic Expression. Uh, this is my Secret Santa video for uh, <clears throat> uh, for Liam Higgins, also known as Mr. X. Mr. Aspiring Actor. And so, Liam, uh, I was I was hooked up by the guys at the site to go ahead and uh, do a little something for you for this uh, for this Christmas. So, hence the hat. And uh, yeah, if you watch my regular video logs uh, for the uh, Ash vs. Evil Dead series, you'll notice that I like to pick interesting locations for each one. Well, today, I'm in bed. <laughs> in my pajamas. And, uh, don't worry, I'm not sick or anything, I'm just sort of being a little bit lazy. It's, it's Wednesday, I don't have much better to do, but I, uh, might as well file my nails. So, um, yeah, I dug through your, your little list of movies that you like on on Facebook and decided to do you a little sort of quick video log style review on uh, a movie that you enjoy. Uh, <laughs> Dumb and Dumber 2. T.O. Yes, that's... The, the, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still kind of blown away by the fact that that was the actual title for this thing. Uh, Dumb and Dumber T.O. The, this is the, the point in your, in your film careers where, where you make a movie like this, and, uh, it, it seems kind of like a, a somewhat desperate attempt to recreate or relive the glory days of one's career as it, as it was just starting out. Or for some, for some, or or maybe as it was just closing down for others. Um, so, uh, sorry, I had to, I got a message over Facebook. I just realized I had to to close that down. Um, yeah, the with the first Dumb and Dumber film, I I noticed that there was a that there was a. A, a trend going on. You know, the Fairley brothers, if memory receives me, they they had already uh, they had already established a career uh, for themselves, and so had so had Jeff Daniels, um, the one who had the one whose career had not quite yet rocketed into stardom was Jim Carrey, uh, who was just fresh off of In Living Color, and, uh, and so, you know, this guy, to me at least, as a, as a kid, he sort of came up out of nowhere, um, it, and yet all of a sudden he's got this, what, this triple hit going on with uh, The Mask, Ace Ventura, and what's this new movie, Dumb and Dumber, a uh, movie where he plays... Uh, one of two of the dumbest guys who ever, who ever lived, and uh, somehow they decided to uh, to center a, a film around it. I I I thought um, as a kid it was an amusing concept, and but for many years I never actually finished watching it. And when I did finish watching it, I I guess I thought it was. It was amusing, but I could not. I I could not believe. I could not figure out for the life of me why. Uh, why so many people thought this this movie was a huge hit? I mean, some of the. Uh, they they were all trying, and whatnot, and I guess they, they liked. I guess the audiences like to see a couple of dumb guys do stuff like this, and uh, you know it's it's a road trip movie, so people like those. Um, maybe it's the relationship between Harry and Lloyd that really gets uh, 
that really gets people's attention despite uh, despite the things that they do with each other or to each other in any, in any case um, so flash forward we have we have uh, Dumb and Dumber 2 and yeah if you if you look at um, the the careers of everyone involved we have we have sort of a a, a, a stand a, a bit of a standstill up until this point and I think um, this was kind of like that this come this is where it comes across as sort of same along the lines of other movies like Blues Brothers 2000 where they say okay um, we haven't we haven't uh, had a big hit in a while why don't we try and uh, and do and do something that uh, that made us popular to begin with and uh, so that's where you have the Farrelly's and uh, no, not, 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 did I say Jeff Bridges before I meant Jeff Daniels uh, God that's a bad mix-up yeah, yeah, you have the Farley brothers, Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels coming back together. And I I guess uh I guess with the case of Jim, his his career hadn't entirely calmed down or anything. But um it just sort of uh it it, it just sort of fell a little bit by the wayside. I mean, he's still he's still making movies frequently enough. Um, with Jeff Daniels, not not so much. I mean, even with the first film, that was uh, to me at least a sign of a of a bit of a downfall in in his career. The '90s were not good to him. After a while, especially with what my favorite Martian. <sighs> so. Yeah, I'm not, not, uh, I'm not sure things were, were looking quite up for him after a while, especially with that, uh, you know, he had to go back to television and do that, uh, HBO show for a while. So, Dumb and Dumber 2, the movie that, uh, that tries to recreate everything that the first film did, and that's exactly what it does. You know, you you have a plot where you have a plot where the two guys have to go cross country to find somebody who's connected to them, who in this case they think might be their daughter. Uh, Jim Jim's character Lloyd falls in love with somebody. Um, uh, people try to kill them off for one reason or another along the way, but hilariously fail trying, and. Uh, it, it, it's just the same formula as the first film. Seriously, think about it. Beat by beat, plot point by plot point, they they are recreating the first film, only they just have a different... they just have a different motive to, to take on their road trip. And instead of just some... instead of the whole mood being... Uh, instead of the whole... Uh, the whole motivation being uh, a, a crush that Lloyd has, the the crush plot point happens later. And uh, on top of that, they're still... Uh, they, they even bring back some of the some of the same side characters as the original. The blind kid comes back as a uh, as once again uh, a comic foil that they can be uh, actually pretty mean to and that's where uh, that's where the the humor here is still a uh, hit and miss I mean you have something that's essentially a very well disguised remake of the first film and uh, it um, to me it, it just sort of comes across as a retreading but for some odd reason, maybe I, <laughs> I kind of enjoyed it a little bit more than the first film. I don't know. Maybe I lowered my expectations 
Um, maybe it was just good to, to, maybe it was just good when I watched it to try and see these, uh, these, these actors back in, in full, in form to, to say, hey, we can still be funny, or we can still at least try to be funny. And, uh, I think the, the most standout scene of all would probably be the one guy who's, uh, uh, who's trying to to get rid of them on this particular trip? The first the first film pulled it off funny enough with uh, somebody trying to assassinate Harry and Lloyd by by way of poisoning. But then oh my gosh, he accidentally ate his own he accidentally ate his own poison. Here it's it's pretty amazing what uh, what happens. He, they have a car. They have a car at stop by the by the side of the road. Uh, Harry and Lloyd get out. They they've had their ears blasted out, and uh, the guy who's trying to assassinate them, who was with them in the car with them at the at the time of the blast, gets out. He's about to shoot them with a the gun, and then he realizes they stopped the car on a train track, and bam, it cut. It, it takes the viewer completely by surprise out of nowhere and then the train goes by Harry and Lloyd turn around they regain their hearing is like oh he drove off without us <laughs> how did you miss this uh, it, 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 it it is it is that level of it, it is the one the one point in the film that I'm, I'm really going to stick with because it 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 is so much more bizarre and off the wall than anything else I expected up until that point. That it just it just sort of blows your mind that this uh, that this happened. <laughs> uh, yeah. So all in all, Dumb and Dumber Two, I say it was a, a a decent film. You may or may not uh, agree with me there. Um, some of you who who hold the original in the utmost high regard, like it, it's a film that cannot be topped, may disagree with me on this. Um, I just like the sequel a little bit better. Still, that's not saying a heck of a lot. So, um, for what it's worth, yeah, I'd say I'd say that one's a that one's a rental. Anyway. Liam, hope you enjoyed this review, or at least auditory-wise. Hope you don't mind my uh, <clears throat> little background noises and whatnot, or uh, the nail filing, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'll find something a little bit more interesting to do than this for my next video log. So, yeah, this sort of gives a slumber party feel to this thing. It's like, hey, would you like to talk about movies? Uh, all right. Well, ciao for now, folks.